I could. How much for a bribe? Ah, 50. That's... That I can spare. Alright, let's do a goddamn main mission. Or I should get some more money in my pockets. Oh, it's down there. It's in the ground. Good. To know. God damn it. I hate this. I hate this. I hate this so much. I hate this so much. I hate this. Hate, 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 hate. This fucking puzzle. It's broken. Good to know that I can acquire recipes. Good to know. Maybe I should buy a... Yeah, no, I should contract a... I should contract goddamn Garrett from Thief. He should be able to pick this thing with ease. Not me, because... No, not even him, because this is beyond a master's work. This is a goddamn god's work. You need to fucking hire a goddamn god to be able to fucking open this shit. I'm so pissed. What is this? What am I supposed to do with this? Hey! Trade! 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 Tr God damn trade with me! Right, I'm calmer, I guess. Maybe. <laughs> there. Where is it? Where is the bell of hay? Oh, there it is. Got the page. Sanctions and demonstrations won't suffice, Sam. We need to act, and I'm talking about more than a sternly worded letter. I sympathize with your frustrations, gentlemen, but surely you can understand my reluctance to kick the hornet's nest. It's a Tory thing, no matter what you do. Might as well make it count. Mr. Sam, hello. Connor, hello again. What brings you to Boston? You. Would you excuse us, fellows? Thank you. That conversation was about to turn unpleasant. Now, what can I do for you? I was hoping you could help me locate William Johnson. Of course. 
I'm headed to a meeting with some men who should be able to help. Why don't you come along? Well, it's good to see the people finally taking a stand against injustice. Says the man who owns a slave. <laughs> Ooh, sorry? I practice what I preach, my friend. She's not a slave, but a freed woman, at least on paper. Men's minds are not so easily turned. It's a tragedy that for all our progress, still we cling to such barbarism. Then speak out against it. We must focus first on defending our rights. When this is done, we'll have the luxury of addressing these other matters. You speak as though your condition is equal to that of the slaves. It is not. Tell that to my neighbor who was compelled to quarter British troops, or to my friend whose store was closed because he displeased the crown. The people here are no freer than sir. Hey! It's my home, no matter what you thieves call taxmen say! If the gums in Parliament who want to take my property, you tell them to sail across the pond and take it themselves! It's not open for discussion now. Open this door or these men will break it down! Ah! The bullocks! We're coming in! Ah! Oh! I trust the mounting evidence is proof enough, Connor. Continue hmm. on. I shall meet you at our destination. Oh, nicely done. There's an almanac page. I need to get that. No. Got it. Another almanac page up there. Time to collect it. Can I pet a pig? Apparently not. The hell is that? Liberation missions. Connor, I'd like you to meet some like-minded friends. The owner of this fine establishment, William Molyneux, and the manager and chef of his newest venture, Stéphane Chaffaut. Ah, Connor and I just had a ball uh, with some red coats and forcing some tax men outside my home. The collectors grow bolder and more forceful. Something we must address, Samuel. Then let us raise a banner. Something to let the people know that they are not alone. The docks are an angry place of late. Protesters picketing the latest shipments of British tea. 
The eyes of the city are upon that stage. A Bostonian without his tea is a dangerous beast. William Johnson is smuggling the tea off the ships. One of his men tried to sell me this. A sample of what I refused. But it's from those ships. No mistaking the stamp. He's charging a king's ransom. Must be he's making a mint off those who buy it. Where is he now? I've never met the man. May I ask why you seek him, Connor? He intends to purchase the land upon which my village stands. ...without the consent of my people. No doubt the revenue from his little smuggling endeavor is financing the acquisition. A tax enforced on tea grants a boon to smugglers. I'll wager the same men who levy the taxes are selling the tea. A stage requires a spectacle, and I may know the play. Connor, head back to the docks and see to the destruction of the tea. If you should need us, return here. For what exactly? Hello, Connor. That tea is being illegally smuggled all around Boston by Johnson's men. If you see any crates in transit, perhaps you could put a stop to the delivery. And those moody tax collectors are still at it. They could use a lesson or two, huh? Understood. Pardon me. Oh, come on, mate. Sure, I'll dispose. Bring it. Anyone else? <laughs> 